This is in response to Dr. Paul Krugman's article in the New York Times on Friday, April 15th, 2016, The Pastrami Principle. Uh, now, basically, <laughs> what uh, Dr. Krugman is doing is indicating that Bernie uh, is trying to do to Hillary what the Republicans, <laughs> you know, say all the time, and that is uh, they the Republicans go out and they delegitimate delegitimatize large groups of Americans. So we have the example of Sarah Palin in 2008, uh, when she was somewhere in the South, talked about that they were the real Americans. Uh, we had recently a, a, a Twitter from Jeb Bush. It had a picture of just a gun, and it said, America. And of course, what that real America meant was that white, small town, southern, gun owners, uneducated, those are the real Americans. <laughs> and um, as a takeoff on that, Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, uh, did a tweet and it had a picture of a pastrami sandwich. The pastrami principle, basically, we're a hodgepodge, we're a melting pot, we are all real Americans and we don't delegitimize any group of people. Uh, but Bernie seems to be on the, it has been doing that for the last couple of weeks. Uh, he has talked about the fact that uh, Hillary won a lot of votes in the South. Some of those states, we will the, the Democrats will not win. Uh, Bernie got clobbered in a lot of those states, mostly by the black vote. Uh, and Bernie says that, the, that some of these votes from the Deep South distort reality. What does that mean? Does that mean that the black vote doesn't count? That doesn't mean that those who are uh, uh, liberal progressives in the South that they're not, their thoughts, their ideas, their goals to be an American, they don't count. None of that counts, you know. Now, um, one of the reasons why is that right now, it's getting close to the end for Bernie. Uh, Daily Cost, the guy Coast, basically said it ended March 15th. I would agree with that. Uh, uh, the He's way behind on the delegate count. He's even further behind on the super delegate count. Uh, he has to take, technically reverse every, every lead that's out there, completely reverse it. Because Hillary is leading by at least 13, between 10 and 13 points in New York coming up next week. Uh, similar margins, uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, also coming up, uh, I believe, New Jersey, California. I can't think of the other ones offhand. But you know, she's winning most of them, 13 to 17 points, something like that. He has to completely reverse that, all right, for the rest of the primary, you know. And But what he's saying now is that basically the superdelegates... Uh, should go to him, you know, uh, whereas before he was upset that the superdelegates were going to Hillary. Uh, so this idea that the Deep South, uh, the, the, the votes that came to Hillary from the Deep South distort reality, and the superdelegates should go to, go, go to Bernie are basically misleading. They were jumping all, all over her at the beginning because of her superdelegate count, uh, because she had uh, used her uh, let's just say, uh, uh, campaign uh, and her finesse to go out and get these superdelegates. And now he's saying, uh, well, those South votes really didn't count and the superdelegates should go to us, even though she has more votes, even though she has more delegates, even though she has uh, uh, won more primaries of significance, because as an example, New York uh, will, uh, uh, will have about the same number of delegates as the combination of the seven or so that Bernie had won in the uh, West and Upper Mid Upper Upper West uh, in the last couple of weeks, and this thing about Bernie, uh, as I would like to say, uh, uh, distorting um, uh, uh, where, where he says that the votes um, are misleading. Uh, that uh, that how would you say what did, what was the term that I used? <laughs> that the back votes really really don't count that it distorts reality. It's very misleading. And it comes on the heels that he's really at the point where this is it, New York is it. Uh, as I said, it's probably been over since March 15th. And uh, this this shot from Bernie Sanders, you know, is very disingenuous. Uh, and my particular point about all of this is I'm seeing this a lot on the far left, uh, the sites, uh, some of some of the comments, etc. They're not going to vote for Hillary. Hillary's corrupt. She's dishonest. She's establishment. She's all of this type of stuff. 
uh, but where I find it really misleading, Bernie should say, my chances of winning are not very good, but I'm going to thunder on. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to press my point as far as I can. And anyone who, who sends me money, I appreciate that, but you need to feed yourself first. <laughs> Meaning that, are there still people sending Bernie money who've been reading all of this stuff on the far left? You know, indicating that Bernie can still win. Uh, he's pure. He's unadulterated. He's, he's dub. He's 99 and 44 percent, uh, 44, 99 and 44 percent pure. Uh, when he's not. Uh, are they still people who should not be giving to candidates at all, giving to Bernie because they think he's pure and they've been told so by the very far left and they're draining their own coffers? I think that is wrong. I'm not saying that's happened, but that's happened many times in the past is that people get, latch on to something and they, they in, in, unintentionally maybe contribute more than they possibly could. But again, uh, uh, Dr. Krogman is right on is that uh, Bernie is trying to do what the Republicans do, which is delegitima delegitimatize large groups of Americans. And I hope he's not asking for contributions on the assumption that he can win because really he cannot win. Uh, he should in indicate clearly that his chances are not good, but he will thunder on. Again, uh, this is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal. I'm on Facebook under The Lifetime Liberal. One word. Uh, join, post, comment, all comments, both positive and negative. Greatly appreciated.